Okay, guys, welcome back. So a little over a month ago, say early December, we received a package through the door. Always fun when the white boxes appear. Nothing better. You know, it's prototype season. We're going to get a look at something that's coming for the new year. Uh, the trouble with that is it's a month or so until we get to tell you guys about it. Yeah. So Strixon released their new, uh, we're calling it internally the Brooksy, uh, the, the, the Z-Star Diamond Golf yep. Ball. Yeah, no, it's got a cool ring to it. It was a, we were reading earlier, it's the big reason he made the switch. I mean, you know, for him, we all know he's used the irons for a long time. Yeah. Driver obviously took some, you know, sh I'm sure takes some time to get used to, but you know, ball is a big thing for these guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Ricky going from Pro V1 to, you know, DP5, uh, yeah. now Brooksy into, uh, you know, the Strixon ball, this ball's really kind of helped him make the decision. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you hear that from players, you know, the golf ball is the only part of the the whole the whole equation that is the constant. I mean, it has to have all-round performance. Mm -hmm. It has to feel good off the putter. It has to fly great off the driver. It has to have control in the wedges. It has to be good in the wind. All of those things. Uh, you know, and for someone like Brooks, who you know came through the, the the kind of titleist ranks, you know, I'm sure it wasn't an easy switch. Yeah. But uh, he was he was pretty emphatic that he he loved the new golf ball. Definitely. Um, so some of the changes, I mean, and we use we use the the Z Star in here as our in house fitting golf ball. We have the Z Star and the X uh, XV. Um, you know, I, I think the, the XV, which we're probably going to compare it to more today, the the kind of call it I want to call it the tour ball because they're both tour golf balls, but maybe the lower spin golf ball. Um, I've found that to be on the lower end of the spin, especially yep. with irons. Um, wedge is okay, but kind of mid irons, I do tend to find the Z-Star for me have been on the lower end. Definitely. Uh, and, and I'll be really keen to see if, if some of this tech that's in this new cover uh, is, is, is what they say it is, and it gets into the, the, the groove a little bit easier yeah. uh, and allows it to spin a little more. Love it. Okay. Um, usual test, guys. 50-yard wedge shot, wedge, seven iron driver. Uh, we'll do it with both and we'll see how it shakes out. Let's do it. Toy. A better strike. That's a little spinny one. XV. Sound difference. Yeah. Hear it? Higher pitch. Quite a lot. I mean, not too much in the way of the, the spin. I said that was slightly higher, but yeah. you can really hear that pitch difference. Strike sounds a little crisper too. I think it might just be that the ball gives that away a little bit more, you know, that you mm. can just, you can pick up in that just a touch more. Higher launching one. Yeah. Same, same. Very similar. Very, very similar. Hmm. Slightly lower launch with the, the diamond, but spin really not much in it. Look at the, the standard deviation in the diamond though. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, well, we can touch upon that a little bit more. So let's go uh, pitch and wedge. One, go 135. Diamond. Right. Start to add some speed to it. It's definitely a more muted sound mm -hmm. off this ball yeah. from that thicker cover, probably. Yeah, you can really tell a difference. Go. That's 
It felt like a good one. That sounded better. There it is. Stay a little bit more behind it. It's fine. They look quite similar, no? Yeah. Same, same. It's fine. Okay, um, quite different golf balls to, to play. One felt way softer than the other. Yeah, the I mean, diamond felt like a much, much softer golf ball. You could hear the difference. The diamond didn't sound like much. Like it didn't really pay attention to it at first. And the minute you put XV down, it was mm. super high pitching. Clicky, yeah. I always liked the Z Star, but I always kind of wanted the performance of the XV. And I kind of never really got, you know, the middle ground with them. Yeah. I can feel that's where that diamond is. It's yeah, somewhere right between the middle. Uh, on the 50-yard wedge shot, I mean, there's nothing really in it. It's spun identical. Yeah. Standard deviation was obscene with the the, uh, the diamond. It kind of just done the same thing every single time. Uh, felt really, really nice with the wedge. On the full pitching wedge, yeah, again, slightly uh, lower launch, yeah. retained the ball speed, slightly more spin. Kind of similar story to the the 50 yarder. Done the same same sort of thing. Slightly Slight, quicker, slightly yeah. lower launch. Into the seven iron. Lower launch, higher spin. Yeah. So a bit of a theme, fast speed. Yeah, we noticed earlier on like the the seven iron with the diamond was spinning a fraction more mm -hmm. right out of the gates. Yeah, that is quite interesting to see it like that. And then with the big stick. Not much in Not it. Much. Marginally quicker. Um, yeah, efficiency wise is about the same. You know, it, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of tests we do in golf balls that when it comes down, you might see subtle differences with the irons mm -hmm. and the wedges. When it shakes out with the driver, it's really much of a muchness. Yeah. yeah. Not much going on. Um, you know, much more me and, and just being probably slightly better on the strike. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's where the difference was. Yeah. And the, and the, the Z Star Diamond is really talks about a lot like contact with the irons and wedges yeah. and, and control there. That's so it. with the dot with the driver, not to see a huge noticeable difference, I'm I'm not surprised. And I think guys, when it comes to the Strix and golf balls, the selling point is is always that premium performance for a, a, a lower cost mm -hmm. than you know. With, do you want to call it tailor made and tight list? But you know that's a premium price bracket. Yep. Strixon does sit a little bit below that in the in the price bracket, but you're not really giving up anything on the, no, on the performance no. stakes. Or the quality. Yeah. Their quality, they're, they're a rubber company. So That's right, yeah. They've got some of the some of the best tech on it. So yep. it's uh, really, really good quality. Yeah, I don't think many people actually know that story about where the name Strixon came from. SRI, SRI is, is mm -hmm. their, SRI Sports is their parent company. That's where Strixon was born from. Uh, they are a rubber company. They, they 
are vertically integrated. They, they make these these kind of materials themselves. Yep. Um, that That is unique mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I, I'm excited to get this one outdoors. I think that's a big part of yep. what we need to establish much more of in 2022. You know, I'm sure you guys agree you've been asking us for it for long enough to get outside and do some testing in, uh, in different wind conditions. I think that's where we'll establish which golf balls really stand out amongst the crowd. Yeah, for sure. Good stuff. Okay, guys, um, not that many more golf balls, but we did say there's a new Bridgestone line. Mm -hmm. uh, who else did we say? There's Chrome one other. Soft test. Chrome Soft. Uh, I know Mr. Wonder's been excited for us to test that one, so looking forward to that. Good stuff. See you again soon.